Next, let's talk about multi-factor auth. So what is multi-factor auth or MFA? You're probably familiar with this workflow in different apps that you use in your day-to-day. -day. And that's a way for you uh, as a user to prove that you have something that you know, like your email and password, but not only that, you have a, a, an additional factor, which is something that you have. And the combination of those two is what makes a more secure authentication flow. So something that you have can be a phone, you know, some, some device that you can uh, have like information there. It can be a YubiKey or it can be like your fingerprint. So there are many different ways that you can leverage MFA and we want to enable you to create those types of experiences. So we build this API uh, that is currently in a preview mode. And this API is a set of composable endpoints that you can integrate to your app. And we try to make them in a way that is very agnostic. So you can work with any different authentication solution and just plug that on top of it. We have two different factors for authentication that you can use. One is called TOTP, which stands for time-based one-time passwords. And those are like those numbers that they refresh uh, from time to time. Um, the things that you typically use whenever you're using an authenticator app. And we also have SMS. So if you want to use your phone, um, your phone number to confirm identity, you can use that as well. The cool thing about this API is that enables you to build things that are on top of the like the login flow uh, necessarily. So you can go ahead and build things like pseudo mode, which is a way for you to restrict access to certain resources. So let's say the user is going to a page where um, there's like a very sensitive resource that they're going to access or they are doing an action that might be destructive. So you can present that confirmation uh, page before they execute that action. So you can confirm that that user is who they say they are. And you can leverage the MFA API to do that. So now I'm going to hand it over to Mahamud and he's going to demonstrate how that API works in practice. Hi, I'm Mahmoud and I'm a developer advocate at WorkOS. And today I'm super excited to be giving you an in-depth overview of the MFA API. The API currently enables you to add support for time-based one-time passwords and one-time passwords sent via SMS. Now to get started, you'll need a WorkOS account, an API key, which you can find in the WorkOS dashboard. And finally, we highly recommend that you use one of our SDKs in your language of choice to interact with the API since they offer a better developer experience. Integrating with the MFA API is done in three steps. You first enroll your user in an authentication factor. Then you create an authentication challenge. And finally, you verify that created challenge. To give you a better understanding of each step, we'll be taking a look at an example app powered by the MFA API. Now, the app initially had logging in using email and password. However, we wanted to make the app more secure by giving users you know, the option to enroll an additional uh, authentication factor, whether that's TOTP or uh, SMS verification codes. So right now I'm on the settings page for configuring an additional authentication factor and the user has, you know, the option between TOTP or SMS. Let's configure TOTP. When I click continue, the app makes an API call using the enroll factor function that's available in the SDK, which takes as arguments a type, which can either be TOTP or SMS, here will be TOTP, an issuer, which is the name of the app itself, and then finally, the user's email. And we have access to it since the user is already logged in. The API sends back a response object, which includes an authentication factor ID, a QR code, which you can display for your users, but also we include the secret. So in case the user can scan the QR code, they can use the secret instead. Now, before rendering the QR code to the user, we're going to create an authentication challenge. And this challenge is going to be created by calling the challenge factor function. And this function takes as an argument, the authentication factor ID, which we created in the first step. Now what's going to happen is the, after this API call, 
we will get a response object, which includes an authentication challenge ID. Now, this authentication challenge ID we're going to use in the final step, which is the verification. Now, to verify, we're going to call the verify factor function from the SDK to see if the user does indeed have access to the one-time password. And this function takes the challenge ID and the verification code as arguments. So this is good. So this function will be called when the user submits the verification code. If the verification step is successful, the API will return a valid field with a value of true. Otherwise, it will be set to false and the user will have to make another attempt again. And that's it. When the verification step is successful, you should persist the authentication factor ID in your database and associate it with the user. This way, when they log in, all you need to do is create a challenge and then let the user verify it by providing the verification code, whether that's you know, their one-time password or the one-time passcode sent via SMS. Now, when it comes to adding support for one-time passwords sent via SMS, the process is very similar. The only difference is when you're enrolling a user, you only need to set the type to SMS and provide the phone number. And then you just go through the remaining steps, which is uh, creating an authentication challenge and then verifying it. Thank you so much, Mahamud. Uh, we're really excited about MFA and we have a couple of improvements that are coming up soon to make the experience even better. One of them is a visualization in the WorkOS dashboard where you can see every single user and see what are the authentication factors that they used uh, to uh, verify and challenge their, um, their authentication factors. So really excited about this. It's coming soon and it's going to give you more visibility in terms of who is using the MFA API. We're also launching a new page on the WorkOS website. So you can go ahead to workOS.com to check it out. And there's a lot more information about this and how you can use this. So in a nutshell, the MFA API is this set of composable, unpinionated API endpoints that you can use. It works with any authentication uh, solution or middleware uh, framework that you're using. And it gives you um, TOTP and SMS factors that you can uh, choose to uh, augment your authentication layer and make it even better.